Piper and I are making some Easter um, bunny like trail mix. I have the Annie's, the Bunny Grahams, the Easter M&M's, and just regular old plain marshmallows. I know this is not anything crazy, but I know she would love it. Are you ready? All right, we gotta bring a chair over, so I'm gonna let her mix this together, and I'm gonna let her be really excited about it. So I'm excited too, because I know she's gonna love doing it. Now I'm gonna put stuff in here, okay? And you're gonna mix it together. So we're gonna start with our bunnies, okay? Grab your bunnies and start dumping them in here. No, here, watch. You're gonna take it, scoop. Good job. Don't come in. Good job. Yeah, there are bunnies. Yeah, can you dump them in? Can you keep scooping them? Yeah. Yes. Can you, here, can you get them? Uh oh. Good job. Welcome back, guys. I just wanted to thank you for joining me today back on my channel. Me and Piper are whipping up this quick little super precious treat for Easter time. This is good to set out at um, Easter for family to munch on. It's good for her just to snack on something fun that she likes or it's good to put in little baggies or mason jars for treats for school or Sunday school or anything like that. It is literally the easiest thing I've ever made and she actually made, I just helped her. It is Annie's Bunny Grahams, M&M's, and marshmallows. That's it. Nothing extra, nothing crazy. And I know a lot of us right now are stuck at home and this would be a really good idea with those kids that are about to like her age that so they can make it themselves or if you have some that are a little bit older you can have them make patterns with them you can have them sort the M&Ms and the marshmallows and the bunny grams you can make a raise pattern I think I already said that color code into different stacks there's so many things you can do with these little treats while they are playing with them they don't even understand that they are learning and it would definitely take them a lot longer than what it took piper and i it took me and piper probably 30 minutes to whip this treat together only because i was letting her do it until i dumped the marshmallows in at the end because she was steady eating m ms and was done with the rest but it was just really fun to see her get excited about this also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I really appreciate y'all coming back. Hit that like button if you enjoy this video, and turn the notification bell on if you haven't, so you get that ding on your phone every time I upload my new videos. to be showing you some of my tips I'm a sixth grade teacher I have taught for five years I had three years in fifth and two years in sixth well no this is my third year and I had a two and it's been two years in fifth grade and three years in sixth grade there we go this is my third year in sixth grade and I've had experience all the way down to kindergarten but I just wanted to share with you some of my top six tips for getting through home schooling and staying at home right now because it's it's a little bit difficult i'm not gonna lie and i know there are people out there struggling but i just wanted to give you my top six tips to help you get through i have them written on my on my notebook so here we go the first one is to set a designated work time preferably like keep the same schedule as they have at school i mean i know some of you might have like littles and older like fifth or sixth graders and they eat lunch at different times and everything, but try to keep like a set routine schedule throughout the day, something that they know when I get up, we're gonna work from this time to this time, have lunch, take a break, and then work a little bit more and be done. 
don't overdo it don't force them to work keep continuing to work take it little by little and don't just don't fight over the work because then once they're done they're done you can't keep pushing them making them do more it's just going to turn out bad um, and also most teachers right now are available to help you between the hours of school sitting like i'm available to my students every day between 7 30 and 2 30 and they are calling like non-stop but not non-stop but they call me a lot and i'll reach out to them and we're having conversations and i'm helping them when they need it but make sure you use your teachers that are there for you whether it's google classroom or they're doing zoom meetings or anything like that use your teachers as your resources you are not doing this by yourself at your house at all reach out to us that's what we are here for all right number two give them time to be creative we all need that time when kids are cooped up in the house all day they because we haven't had the best weather i know um they need to be creative whether they're using art music making crafts a stem exercise there's so many stem um activities you can find online and do whether they're building something or creating something or even like building little boats to hold stuff in the bathtub just give them time to be creative and use that energy because they if they're at home all day they're probably having a lot more screen time than what they normally do which is not a bad thing honest to goodness because a lot of us parents have to work and we know the only way we can get stuff done most of the time is with a screen or a tablet in front of us and them i mean it's just how it is so that's another tip that i had is tip number three is it okay if you need time for yourself and to get your stuff done you can use tablets you can let them uh, they have people drawing on facebook that you can let them follow there are educational apps out there i know abc mouse is giving away free um subscriptions right now um the Cincinnati Zoo is doing a daily like animal spotlight to where they talk about an animal at their zoo and then they give the kids an activity to do afterwards with it they can do at home. It's it's unbelievable how many people are out there doing things uh, virtually to help our kids and help us honestly. They're going to have more screen time. Don't you don't eat yourself up over it. It's going to happen. My daughter has watched probably some more screen time than what she normally does but i've had to change it up instead of watching frozen 32 times a day we are doing toddler workout videos we're doing phonics songs we're doing color sorting sh like shows just make it to where it's beneficial to them and then of course they can always have that time that they want to do stuff but a lot of the stuff they'll find really enjoyable because it's not stuff they normally do online and um, the other thing is brain breaks Brain breaks are something they've preached to us at school and it's something I want to tell you all that you all should do as well. What a brain break is, it is literally a break for your brain and it's going to be needed for you and for them because some of these parents are trying to figure out some common core math. I'm sorry. It's a little difficult. Take a brain break. You can find stuff on GoNoodle.com. I'm going to link these below um, where it's little songs and exercises and dance movements that they can do. Uh, you can pull it up on your uh, computer for sure I think you can pull it up if you have like an Apple TV or something on there get videos on YouTube go outside for a walk draw some sidewalk chalk let them just have a break and do it for fun I'm usually kindergarten through about second or third grade they take about a brain break every 30 minutes but the older kids can probably make it about an hour and make it a good one don't be like all right up 10 jump a jock sit back down let's get to work let them have some fun and break away for a minute um this is also a very good time for you mamas to teach some life skills i wish piper was old enough to learn some life skills because homegirl be doing some laundry and i love the dishwasher <laughs> but we're not because we're too okay to do that but this is a really good time for you to help teach your kids how to do laundry uh, just a life skill that they need um dishes have them walk the dog have them feed the dog have them Teach them how to cook something. Cook in the kitchen with them. She does like to help me in the kitchen every now and then. She has pulled her little stool up and tries to act like she can reach up there. But I'm letting her help a little bit more with uh, cooking. And plus if they help cook, they usually eat their food too. If you didn't know that. Um, so yeah, definitely teach them some life skills. If your dads are home, send them all outside. Give yourself a break. Send them outside and let them do some yard work. We're going to have plenty of time. Might as well go ahead and do it. So let them go outside and pick some weeds. Perfect. Brain break. Weeds are gone. Peace and quiet in the house. There you go. Teach them some life skills. Uh, speaking of the common core math I talked about a few seconds ago, 
those parents, if you are struggling with Common Core math, you need to go to ConAcademy.com. I'm going to link it below. It is, gives you free instructional videos on how to teach Common Core math for your kids. Whether they watch them or you watch it to help them or you watch it together. It is 100% free help if you don't know what you're doing. If you call your teachers and they help you or they're just not available at that time if you're working at night, get on ConAcademy.com and get it done. It's great. I'm not going to lie. Um, what else? Number, I've done that. One, two, three, four, five. Don't. Last thing. I did think of something else. Do not stress during this time. It is very hard to get caught up in the frustration of trying to work with your kids and just breathe take some fresh air you're gonna get through it we got this do not worry you need to take time for yourself take some self-care last night i had to take a bubble bath i had to shave my legs i sat in there for 30 minutes and watched netflix in the bathtub and i did not have one shame about it i have been at home with a toddler for three days only three days we have to do no homework but she's two and it's insane so i have been home for three and I've already had to have one self-care night and I'm probably gonna have another one and maybe another one so you need to take time for yourself and Stephen has been blessing as well he came home ever since I've been stuck at the house from work and he's like go for a walk go take Ava and I went for a two mile walk every night this week and I have loved every minute of it I like it just refreshes your brain so take that time to refresh yourself restart because you can't pour from an empty cup you have to help yourself first so take care of you take care of your babies get their work done and let's get through this together don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet um i'm posting two times a week if you did not know that now and i will see you on wednesday peace out